The Ministry of Health has concluded a training workshop for medical practitioners, refreshing the knowledge base on whooping cough. We have confirmed and suspected cases of whooping cough, so therefore we felt the need to resensitize our healthcare professionals as to the management, diagnosis, and treatment of whooping cough on the island. So we, as I said, we have our healthcare workers here, doctors, nurses, pharmacists, and we have a team from PAHO who visited, and um, one of whom would be conducting the training session. The Minister of Health has really been very aggressively investigating this outbreak, actively searching for additional cases, and ensuring that all children from the age of six weeks of age are adequately vaccinated against whooping cough. We have been actually searching the records at health centers and hospitals, looking for additional cases, and also ensuring that the healthcare workers are adequately sensitized as to what is whooping cough, what are the signs and symptoms, and how to identify a case. The training session this afternoon will be with doctors and nurses, laboratory technicians, pharmacists, etc. And there will also be a session with the private doctors to ensure that all medical personnel on the island are aware of what is happening, what are the signs and symptoms of pertussis, so that cases can be identified and investigated in a timely manner, so that treatment can be completed and we can prevent the spread to other children. Meantime, the Bureau of Health has embarked on a specialized campaign sensitizing early childhood centers. The latest stop was the foundation's preschool. The session this morning was very educative, especially for the children. They learned the correct way to wash their hands. They learn about coughing in the um, sleeves. They learn about germs, the importance of it, and mostly about the whooping cough, which is now um, the outbreak in St. Lucia. I can sensitize the parents about the spread of the disease and safeguard the other children in the school. I can also help them to um, better understand, uh, they can help them to better understand what exactly is the disease, not to get them scared, but to sensitize them about the dangers and the precautions they can use. And long ago, people with whooping cough were supposed to wear something red. Tie your head, your arm, or your neck with something red. So people would see and they would know that you have it. That was a way so that they would keep away from you. They wouldn't get too close to you. It was a way of identifying it, and then that was the reason why you had to wear something red. Either on your head, a headband, a neck band, or a, a band wristband. on a wristband. And you want to tell us about the song? Oh, and there was also a song to those who have it. We were saying, La Clocliche, Cheve, Cheve, Tutay Paddy, Vum Palaje. Well, I did not put a song. And yes. anybody who has any memory of any experience with somebody who had it before? Well, I knew people who had it, and it's not a very nice thing. Because you would cough, some people would end up even peeing on them because you just go on coughing, your eye would run and you have to grasp for air, you have to try and get water, the water cannot go down, it is a terrible thing. And still on health matters, the, div the dental division in the Ministry of Health held what it says was a successful summer dental camp in Reunion, Choiselle. It was the first time such a camp was being held by the ministry in that constituency. This camp along the other camps that we've had in Oje, Babono and Soufre is a unique camp whereby we engage the children, we bring an awareness of oral health to the children, we teach them the brushing techniques, the flossing techniques. What's unique about it is that they get hands-on treatment. We have a dental therapist here who has cleaned all the children's teeth during that camp. They get an awareness of the importance of water. Um, there were many facilitators who came on and gave the children short lectures on good touch, bad touch, conflict re resolution. It, it was just fantastic.